I, uh, what makes you kind of unique and special is the fact that you you were like a you were a professional player of tennis. You know, mm, professional so, tennis player. Yeah. Um, how was that like? Like, how was the experience of being a professional athlete representing Africa? How was that for you? Um, I mean, where do you want me to start? Like, growing up or yeah, anywhere, anywhere. anywhere. Mm -hmm. Well. Just a little background. So I started playing tennis when I was six years old, right? About, about six, seven. That's when I started playing. Okay. Um, how I got into it was, you know, growing up with the parents, they don't want you to just sit around in the house. They're like, oh, go play with your friends or get outside the house and do something, you know, right. stuff like that. So that's how I got into it. My mom's best friend, uh, the son, will play tennis, right? So she always said, oh, go play with his name was his innocent so go play with innocent, innocent. Go, go go to the tennis courts, go to the tennis courts. so i was just forced to go to the tennis courts so i would just go there goof around play around but uh after a year or so the coaches were really intrigued you know like oh you're pretty good you should start coming more often and um i mean everything else is history man so yeah when you started playing what what makes someone kind of like uh I was gonna ask like, what makes you different? Like, what makes them know like, oh, this person has the potential to be, to be a pro? Is it your serve? Yeah. Is it your lateral movement? Uh -huh. Like, what is it? Well, in my case, it was so there was also like a developmental program for tennis in my city. Right. It's called Mantis Tennis Academy, okay. right? So they basically send out coaches in schools, and they recruit. They look at talent, like public schools nothing right. special you know this is all free development work right uh they're not really making money out of it but they're just recognizing talent and just trying to make the best out of the situation right right so the coaches eventually said hey you know you're pretty talented naturally without any skills or knowledge of the game so we want to train you you just come once a week from once a week it was twice a week from twice a week it was three times a week three times a week to five times a week and before you know it um you know, at the age of like eight, nine, I started representing the country. Uh, fast forward to, you know, the whole process of uh, the development of the game. You know, there is so much that goes into it. Um, for the most part, it's just being surrounded by people with the same mindset. I think it was a big thing for me, right? So growing up at the age of like six, seven, I'm already seeing people like me, you know, that are playing for the country, playing for this, playing for that, going to Europe, you know, representing the country and doing all these great things at a very young age. So being exposed to that, um, the competitiveness, you know, the um, people who want to do better and people who are doing better, uh, it just changes you, it just changes your mindset. And seeing that right off the bat, I want it to be like that. So at the age of nine, ten, I already had a vision. I want to be like that player, you know. I want to be like that guy. That guy who just went to South Africa. I want to go there too. That guy who just went to Namibia. I want to go to Namibia too, mm. you know. And that's from the Mantis Academy, right? Yes, that's Mantis Tennis Academy. Yeah. And that academy is a, you say it's kind of like a non-profit kind of. Yeah, it, it wasn't really for money, to be honest. It was mainly to just help. Uh, you know, you would get scholarships to train and live at the center in my city in Mutara. They had an academy, a house where you'd stay and you'd get training and they would take you to school. It was a bunch of us. Uh, but only like this, you know, the, the talent would go there. Yeah. It wasn't just everybody come over for free. No, right. it was, you know, there was special so Is that like a game kids. that you have to play or is that like... No, it, talent. You know, just they, from the, the coaches, coaches would see it. Mm -hmm. You know, the hard work and the dedication, the talent, and they, they, they can tell, they can tell. So they'll take a few people out of the city, out of the public schools. You know, they'll say, hey, you know, come over, we'll pay for this, we'll pay for that. Oh, you maybe have to pay for maybe your school and we'll cover your, your tennis. Mainly they would cover the tennis side of things. School, you take care of your own school, you know, right. tuition and stuff. It's not, you know, the public schools and back home, they're not that expensive. But right. the tennis part is expensive. So... They stepped in and, mm. uh, you know, just made sure that they went above and beyond to make sure that you basically, um, what's the word, utilized all the, the talent that you had. You know, they, were ex they explored to the max. So they, they did the best they could to make the best out of everybody, pretty much. Hmm. Yeah. So yeah. when you were saying... Um, 
the coaches are these African coaches or are these like mixed with Africans and Europeans coaches? Mm. No, these are Zimbabwean coaches. They're Zimbabwean, Zimbabwean coaches. coaches. Wow. Zimbabwe is very a little background. Zimbabwe is very big in tennis. Is that, like is that, we have, it's very normal. I know it, so it is sounds. That, that, yeah, it's, it's a normal thing. Africa is huge in tennis. Africa is has so much talent. Just Africa in general. Really, right? But focusing on, I mean, I can give you a little history about South Africa. It's players that have came out of South Africa, players that have came out of Morocco, um, Namibia have, you know, produced a couple of good players. Um, Burundi, you know, even Burundi, Kenya, you know. Uh, specifically talking about Zimbabwe, we have, I mean, Andre Agassi. I don't know if you know Andre Agassi. Agassi. He yeah. came over to Zimbabwe. Really? You, know, you met him? He, I didn't I was still young. But oh, my, my, my uncle, uh, where I just got back from Boston, he was actually number one in the U.S. He won the NCAAs. Um, he was, I think, top two or 300 in the ATP, which is the Association of Tennis Professional. Um, he, he played for the country together with um, Baron Blake and uh, Wayne Blake. I don't know if you know them. Uh, I mean, huge into tennis. So historically, we have produced really good players, even up to date. You know, we still so, have some pretty decent players that are 